Hello everyone! In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use an HTML form to enter data into Google Sheets. Just to let you know, this does not require you to know HTML, although knowing it will definitely be helpful. On the left side of the screen, I've opened an HTML form, while on the right I have Google Sheet with headers. I've connected these two so that you can use the HTML form for data entry. What's great is that this form is mobile-friendly, and you can easily perform data entry by opening this form on mobile devices. Now, let's jump into a quick demo. I'll fill out this form with some sample entries. After that, I will click on the Submit button. As you can see, the data appears in the Google Sheet as expected. Let's do one more entry. So, it's working fine. The form will also reset after each submission and provides a message indicating whether the submission was successful or if there was an error. So, how do you set this up for yourself? But, before setting this up, let me give you a brief overview of what will be required and why. So the first thing we require is definitely a Google spreadsheet in which we will be performing data entry. What we need to do is attach some script or code and deploy it. When we deploy it, it will give us the URL that will accept post requests. These post requests will contain data from the HTML form, and this data will be passed and appended to the Google Sheet. Now let's handle the spreadsheet part first. First, go to the link provided and make a copy of the Google Spreadsheet by clicking on File, then Make a Copy. Next, go to Extensions and click on App Script. This will open the script editor in your browser. You'll find a few settings to customize. By default, I've set the Data Entry tab to Sheet 1. If you want to use a different sheet, make sure to edit the name here. For example, if you want the data entry to be performed on Record tab, then you will have to replace Sheet 1 with Record. For the script part, you don't need to make any extra changes. Now, you'll need to deploy this script to get a URL that will serve as the action URL for your HTML form. Click on Deploy, then New Deployment. If it's your first time, you may be asked to click on the Settings icon. Choose Web App and provide a description. In the Execute As field, select Me, and in the Who Has Access section, choose Anyone. Click Deploy. You'll be prompted to authorize the script. Go ahead and grant all the necessary permissions. Copy this URL. You'll need it for your HTML form. And in future, if you edit your code, then you will have to deploy this code again. Let's say I make one change here in the code. Then I will hit Save. After that, click on Deploy. Choose Manage Deployment, then choose Last Save Deployment. Click on this pencil icon to edit it. Now from this dropdown, choose New Version. And finally, click on Deploy. And you'll get the URL. This way, the URL will remain unchanged. If you instead clicked on New Deployment, then you will get new URL. In that case, you will have to replace the old URL with the new one in your HTML form as well. So, better go with Manage Deployment if you modify your code later. Now let's move on to customizing the HTML form. I've provided the link for the form in the video description. You need to download it and open it with some code editor. If you don't have code editor installed in your system, then download VS Code Editor. I will attach the link in the description. Once installed, you can open this file by right-clicking on the file and then choosing Open with VS Code or else you can also open the VS Code first and then drag this file onto the editor. After opening it, first you need to replace the post URL with your copied URL. Now moving on to form section. I have tried to put almost all the basic input controls like text, number, date, email, password, radio, checkbox, text area, so that you can add or remove fields as needed and duplicate them for additional entries making this form customizable. For example, let's say you don't want these fields for first name and last name. Instead, you want client name. In that case, simply delete this and change the label here to client name. Now this is important. Here you see name attribute. You need to change it to client name. And this should exactly match with the header field name in your Google Sheet. So let's change that as well. 
I will delete this and replace this with client name. Now let's close this. Once you've made the changes, you can open the HTML form in your browser by clicking Open with Google Chrome or any other browser. Let's test this again. I am doing one fake entries. And there you have it. It's working perfectly fine after making changes to it. You can also use this form on your mobile devices, making data entry into Google Sheets a breeze. That's it. If you want this form to be populated with data from the Google Sheet itself, then put that it in the comment section below. I will try to make video on that as well. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and if you found this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.